Hi guys, so today is Friday. Um, I chose to come to Laramie, Wyoming because I was getting really, really short on inventory. So I chose to come here and um, do my best to find some. Um, I found a few things at the Goodwill, honestly not near as much as I'd hoped. Um, and then I dropped off my consignment bags at this consignment store in town. And I have about $98 credit from previous times, previous bags of stuff. And so I'm going to go there and see what I can find. Um, they're pretty high priced on just the, even the most basic stuff. Now with my credit, that doesn't matter as much because I make my credit by buying stuff very, very cheap at the bins. So... <coughs> I'm here in Laramie at um, an apartment. I'd gotten this apartment when I was a, a nurse here in town. And then my daughter is still in college, so she shares it with me. And, you know, she pays about, I would say, 80% of the expenses since she's here full time. And then I, you know, pay probably it costs me between three and three fifty a month in the internet I still pay for um, I pay um, the um, half of the utilities from the upstairs people and so it really isn't bad I would say sometimes it's only 150 to 200 but with winter and natural gas has been so high so the heating bill has been really high so that's a pretty big bargain for me. I'm here normally at least once a week, sometimes for days. And it looks like I might be here for days right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my mini Goodwill haul. Again, I'm a little disappointed. Sometimes I walk in there and I have a cart full. But I've been through every single section in the Goodwill here. So um, I'll go back maybe tonight about 6.30 right before they close and see on the new racks that they put out. See if I can find some more stuff. And um, then I'm going to run to that consignment store and see what I can find. But I wanted to show you what I got. Um, right now, I Interstate 80 is closed, so that's a no. And then there's another way called Highway 30, and um, it's been closed. They keep saying they're going to open it, but um, I-80, they say they're not even opening for like 16 hours. So that definitely I'm not even going to look at. And then there is another way that's technically open, but when you look at the webcam, it's pretty bad. So I thought about taking off to the bins to go to Denver tonight because, you know, it's open that direction, thankfully. The problem is, is that it looks like they're getting another storm. And I, I have a business credit card and I can go get stuck in Denver five days, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, not for your business. And, and I don't, you know, use my business credit really that much. So part of me thinks that that's really what I should do. Um, so I'm just contemplating it. That's why I'm going to go ahead and make this video. I launched um, 20 other items from my virtual assistant that he had done. And uh, so I got those done. So I had 10 go in yesterday. I had 20 go in today. And then I have a bunch of stuff photoed that I haven't launched myself. If I don't go anywhere tonight, I'll go have supper with my mom. And then I'll probably come back and just do some more listing. If I decide that, you know... I might have to use my business credit for like $500 in hotels. Then I might just hop in the car and go to Denver and just take advantage of the time to kind of get a lot of inventory, which is really what I need. I really need the business to have 30 items a day. I'm more than capable of typing in 30 items a day. I do it all the time. I just have not been able to accumulate the inventory. Um, and so the bins is really the answer to that. So anyway, let's get started. That's my like my life that's like, should I go? Should I stay? Where should I be? And it's just, it's very complicated. <laughs> it normally it's not like this. It's just like for this certain certain weeks in the winter, I'm just like, is it smart to drive? They opened the road. Should I go? And then you hear of all these accidents out there. So anyway, I'm staying put for a little bit. I'll pray about it here while I <laughs> while I do this video. Um, this was a good find yesterday. This was just hanging on the rack. Lululemon Athletica. It's real cute. I have not looked it up. I just thought for $3.50. Let me see what I paid here. Here's my receipt, by the way. Let's see here. There we go. Um, oh, wait. That must be my receipt from today. Sorry. That this was um 
last night. Sorry, I'll find it. It was $75. It was not $13. It was $75. I will find it. It might be in one of these bags. Um, this I picked up. This is an older sweater. It's not USA made, but it's older. has shoulder pads. And I'm going to put um, Barbie Core in the title for this. I've heard about Barbie Core. Anything like pink, I mean, brighter and more uh, magnificent pink or, you know, not magnetic is not the word, shiny pink, I guess. But this is definitely Barbie Core. So I'm going to put that in there, put acrylic sweater, and I'm hoping to get like 25 for that. <coughs> This I just got for my little niece. It's a Wonder Woman hat. I'm going to take that over to her tonight. And then these are a pair of hokas. You cannot go wrong with hokas. So, you know, um, they passed the bend test. I'm not sure which ones these are, but they're nine and a half. Um, if they were nine and a half wide, I'd give them to my husband, but that's his fault for needing a wide shoe. So anyway, th this was a good find, and these were six bucks. So I don't know if they, I don't know when they put out the Hocus here if they have any idea. And that's what makes me keep thinking I can find Teaks or Roth, Rothies or whatever they are. I keep thinking, well, if they're going to put out Hocus and they don't know what those are. So I keep looking. I've not found them. All right. This I got. This was $3. This is Conair Easy um, Holding Hair Setter. And um, I've got to open this up and see how clean it is. But if it's halfway clean or if I can make it clean with just a little bit of, of work, I'm not willing to pick hair off of every roller or something. But um, if I can get that clean, you can tell I was a little bit desperate. I went for the hard goods. I got like two or three hard goods. I just, I don't like doing that. I get enough hard goods from my son and that's about all the hard goods I really want. I'm really trying to just do those clothing, do the clothing just as fast as I can. I'm faster at it and my system is set up for it. But right now I have another four or five days where the weather is unpredictable. So I just grabbed it. Um, I'm real, I've done a lot of those in the past. A lot of those hairdresser things. Oh, there's my receipt. I knew it was somewhere. All right. So 75, 79 and, um, let me see. The hairdresser things, I think, were like, well, I guess that one actually said on it. This one, oh yeah, this one here said $3, so it's actually $3. So that makes that symbol. All right. All right, this is for my consignment client. The donated bras, I believe, are a dollar, and this had a good brand. I can't find it now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Lively. Yeah, Lively is a decent brand. She'll pay me three bucks for this. Mostly, I'm just getting more filler for my consignment box. I get most of her stuff at the bins, and, and she knows that, and she's very happy with what I get. And so she'll pay me, you know, $3 for stuff I get at the bins that I only pay 50 cents for. Um, this was a good find. This is a Cacique. This is a brand new bra in here. And, um, you know, same thing, though. She'll pay me three bucks for this. I know I could list this myself and make a lot more, but in bulk, I make a lot of money each month, um, and she'll buy unlimited amounts of bras from me. So I'm just going to throw this in her box. I'll probably break even on that particular bra, but it'll, you know, keep her as a good client. All right. This is a new brand to me, Cabana Light. It's a small, so it's not the best size, but this had a fairly decent sell-through rate. And again, I'm stretching it a little bit since, you know, I just have to get by this week. Then I think it's really going to free up, but it's pretty. I would wear this if it were my size. It's just too small. I wish it were my size. So it says dress. I, yeah, um, I don't think it's like a nightgown. I think it's, it's a little bit heavier than that, more of a dress. I forgot what I got yesterday, guys. Okay, this is Simply. I love this brand, especially in shirts. It's like a, they always have, it's almost like traveler's material that Chico's puts out. That's kind of what it feels like. And these are a size six, so it's not the best size, but I looked up Simply Pants size six, and they do really well. These are brown, and then they had um, this detail on it. 
<coughs> okay. Then um, Lauren Ralph Lauren, I'm really starting to look into that brand more. I think it's probably just because of the name recognition of having Ralph Lauren in the title. Um, so they do really well. Let me find the tag. So these are just a medium, and they're just pajamas. But I looked up the um, pajamas that had, um, <laughs> I can't say the word, uh, these things. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I, don't, I can't say it. Anyway, these are a nice pair of medium pajamas, and I should be able to get like 17 or 18. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye on what they're charging me. Um, I think they actually charged me seven something, and there was something today I bought that I was like, ooh, I gotta be a lot more careful. Their prices have gone up. And honestly, I also bought these because I might keep these. I'm gonna try these on, so um, they may not even uh, get sold. But um, if I paid seven for those, I'm not gonna make my money back on those anyway, so I'll just keep them. But, um, and, and I surely wouldn't recommend paying seven for those, but at the bins, um, I would pick those up. Now, this was a great find yesterday. So I didn't find much, but I'm pretty happy with what I found. This is called Sue Wong. And um, I'm trying to see if there was ever a price. This is a size eight, which, um, you know, I wish I was tall enough to wear this, but it is just a gorgeous dress. It is, I don't normally do like formal wear. I don't like it at all. This won't be fun for me to photo. The color is much prettier than what the webcam is picking up. It's like a, I don't even know. I don't know how to say it. It's like a cream blush, like almost like a blush color. And, and then with this detail. So anyway, I looked it up. I did not find this exact one, but this is an, a minimum of 100 brand new with tags. So I'm happy with that. Um, I'm trying to think if they charged me any more since that was evening wear. Um, I'm trying to see if they put it specifically on here. Um, adult dress, four fifty. dollars Nope, they just charged me for an adult dress, so that works. All right, then I got another one of these. This is the one that um, I've sold a lot of times in my reselling career. This is, is it HSO1? I don't have my reading glasses. I paid four bucks. But, um, where is it here? Uh, oh, right there. I think it says, right? Yeah, $4. There we go. Now you can see. But, um, anyway, this one in the different colors is always a pickup. This should be $38 to $40 easily. And people like these. I guess they do get hotter than um, the newer ones. And so people who do um, pageants, they like their... They, they roll um, their daughter's hair with these. And so I always put pageant in the title. So I'm going to look in here, make sure that it's clean. But this one, I can see that there's not like hair down in here. So I know that one won't take very long to get clean. All right. And then I got this. This was a great find either way. If I was willing to sell this, um, it would be worth $49. And they just charged me CD, DVD, box set, $3. So I'm surprised. They only charged me $3. To them, they're probably like, ah, that's old. Um, but my husband loves the Thin Man movies, and I've watched one or two with him. And we watch them at night. So, um, And I checked. All the discs are in there. And so this is going to be like a Valentine's Day or a birthday present. His birthday's in March. So it's going to be one or the other. It was all about him yesterday. I spent, what, I spent 18 bucks of this $75 um, that I may resell. I may have to reimburse the business. Um, this, it's just the case, but it's a real high quality case. My son was with me, helping me, and he, uh, you know, asked me if, you know, dad needed a new, uh, a new case. And, um, so, uh, my husband plays guitar, so does my son, and that one is in pristine shape. Um, we paid 15 for it, but again, it's a birthday or a Valentine's gift. I had someone stop me in the Goodwill and say, is there a guitar in there too? And I'm like, no, I wish, you know, it's just the case for 15 bucks. So anyway, guys, that was my really small haul when I said it was a mini haul and, you know, I've got, my son gave me about 25 to 30 items, which are hard goods, and that won't take very long. And um, then I've got what you just saw here. And then I think when I left home, I had maybe 10 items that are not processed. 
I have a couple of those humidifiers. I have the silver bells thing. If you've been watching any of my videos, it's like a, it's, those three are a pretty expensive thing. That's like, that's like 250 to $300 just sitting on my floor in three items. So I need to get those done. Um, and then I have like maybe 10 pieces of clothing, if that. I don't even think I do. So that is all I have, and I'm wanting to do 30 items a day, um, whether it's hard goods or soft goods. That's my goal. And so you can tell it's just not happening. I'm not getting there. So, um, excuse me, I'm still kind of congested. I'm going to, I just want to make this video show you my mini haul. Um, I'm going to go decide what to do. You know, right now, I mean, the weather's bad. I can't get home. I have the time. I should probably just head to Denver. I think that it would probably be the better choice and, and go to the bins and just while I'm kind of stuck away. Um, on the other hand, my mom's here and my nef my niece and, you know, my brother, and I could just go hang out, but I am here to work. I, I hung out last night some too. So, so um, anyway, guys, um, oh, by the way, um, I, what I wanted to tell you, I have like several other things that are kind of reselling. If you have not gone to Netflix and watched the Pez Outlaw, it's, um, so good if you're a reseller or a business person of any kind. Um, his story is great. You know, he, he, um, realized that the International Pez Company and the United States Pez Company did not work together very well. And he saw um, kind of a, a hole in their system there. And he took advantage of it. And um, there's one guy at the Pez Company that just took him on as his personal vendetta to get him back. And it's a true story. It's got the guy in it. It is such a good documentary if you're a reseller. Um, it talks about the early toy shows and, and the Pez selling. So get on there. And if you need something fun to watch while you work, or if you're really done with your listings, then I, then I give you permission to go watch it. So, um, otherwise guys, I think that's all that I had remembered that I wanted to say. So have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.